Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this object from this 2D drawing. Let's get started. Let's create a new component. Select the front view. We're going to change our units to inches. Create a sketch on the visible plane and let's create a series of two circles. Select the D key. Let's add a dimension to the center circle. Left click the outside circle, then right click, select radius. And let's add a radius. Let's extrude the profile we just created. Select the outside. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurement is going to be whole length. And let's add some dimensions. Once again, select the front view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. And let's create the profile. Select the three point arc. We're going to put it out in space. Select the D key to add a dimension and a radius of seven. Tune in the profile, create a series of lines, and add dimensions. Select the D key. Create another line in the center. Select center line. Make it five inches. Select the horizontal vertical constraint. Select this point and this point. Once again, add dimensions. Select this edge in the center line. We're going to give it a diameter of 12. Select this point in the center line. Give it a diameter of 8. Select the mirror command. We don't want to constrain it yet. Select these lines. We don't need to select the center line. It automatically uh, selects the center line for our mirror point. Let's create a point in the center here. Add a dimension to it. this about one inches. Create a three point arc. Select these two points. Make sure it rests on that point. And now we have the basic shape. Select the offset command. Make it a construction line. Drag it in to about 0.5 inches. Let's continue the profile. Select the two point rectangle. We want the width to be seven inches. We want to add a symmetric constraint on this edge and this edge to the center line. We're going to once again add a dimension from the bottom of the square or the rectangle about two inches from the bottom. We're going to select tangent constraint, make this top of the rectangle tangent with this arc. Now 
completing the profile and making everything solid. Let's turn off construction, grab the line from this point here to here. Let's create a series of arcs. Actually, what we can do, so I'm gonna back up, control C, from here to here. Because we're gonna mirror this. This point to this point. Use the concentric constraint. Grab a three point arc once again. Let's grab that point to here to here. We don't want to add any constraints as of yet. And then add one more constraint from here to here with this arc using the concentric constraint. Now we can add a tangent constraint to this arc and this line. Once again, this arc and that line. We're going to once again add a tangent constraint from this arc to the wall of this two point rectangle. And that's fully defined. Once again, let's mirror it. Select the mirror command. Select the profile we just created. Left click and hold and choose a sketch line, which is this one. And it's set up for us. Turn off dimensions so you guys can see, as well as constraints. And that's what the profile should look like. Next, we're going to create an extrusion with this profile. And that's what it should look like. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurement is going to be whole length. I'm going to add dimensions. Now, let's add the holes. Select the top view, create a sketch on this face. Well, before we add the holes, let's add the slot. Select the overall slot. Let's just start in the center. Let's add dimensions. Let's constrain it, constrain it to the center. Select this line. Midpoint constraint. Let's add some dimensions. There's a point here and a point here. Let's make it 5.5. Let's dimension these two edges. Make the length. Select the horizontal vertical constraint, select this line, and it's locked into place. Select extrude command. Select the profile we just created. Let's select the inside edge. But to do that, let's select two objects and then select the inside edge. It's gonna tell you can't not complete the extrusion. Not a problem. Instead of selected to face, select to adjacent faces. Now let's set up the profile for the hose. Select the top view. Once again, create a sketch on this face. Let's create a construction line. Make it 10 inches. Close it off. Let's constrain it to the midpoint of this point here. And it's set. Select the hole command. Select that point, that point there. We want the distance to be all. And this is going to be 0.625. Let's 
create an offset plane. Select this face, drag it down. We want to make this a negative one. Let's create a sketch on the visible plane. We just created. And we're going to create a circle on both sides. But we have nothing to lock on to, so what we're going to do is going to bring back the previous sketch of the line. And that's what we're going to use to lock on to. I'm going to make it one inch on both sides. Select extrude command, left click hold, select profile, select this inside profile, drag it down. Distance is going to be set to all. You can turn off this sketch and add the final piece, which will be the fillings. Select the four corners. dimensions and our project is complete well I hope you enjoyed this brief exercise stick around and I shall see you in the next video